Everyone in this Monday night, police chiefs across central Indiana presenting their officers with a pledge to do whatever they can to save lives in an active shooter situation, including the chief of police for Warren Township Schools. 24 Hour News 8's Tim McNicholas met with the police chief today and is now live at Warren Central High. Tim, why did he show his officers this pledge? Well, the police chief says Warren Township schools are safe and the officers already took an oath to serve and protect. But the chief wants to remind his officers it is part of their job to do whatever they can to protect the staff and students if there is a shooting. 245, the last dismissal for Warren Central. But the school police were proactive. Chief Adrian Pettis says they keep working, sometimes until 10 p.m. Being a school resource officer, we want to make sure that the precious cargo goes home. On February 14th, 17 Florida high school students didn't make it back to mom and dad. The pledge Pettis showed officers Monday morning reads in part, if I am ever faced with an in-progress active shooter slash killer and I can make a difference, I will use my superior attitude, superior training, superior tactics, and superior weapon, superior because it is in my trained hands, to become an army of one. It's something that we've already been doing. Yeah. Um, this right here just reiterated uh, the reason why we took that job. The Cumberland Police Chief says he's also showing his officers the pledge. It goes on to state, quote, if left with no other options and presented with the opportunity to stop the killing, I will take the shot and make the shot. Pettis says his team also runs active shooter training. We want to make sure that the staff and students inside our facility um, are safe as well, feel safe. So Pettis says there is no perfect plan and every situation is different. One reason they do that training is to make sure they're prepared for anything. Uh, both the chiefs we talked to, they both said that the, the, their officers don't have to sign this pledge. Uh, they just wanted to show it to them uh, to make sure that they're, they're reminding them uh, that they need to do whatever they can to keep these staff and, the staff and students safe. Also, neither chief said that they wrote that pledge. We did see it floating around online in a few different spots. Live on the east side, I'm Tim McNicholas, 24-Hour News 8.